I've covered how to get a Widevine or DRM enabled browser in FreeBSD before using Linux browser installer. Uh, I'll link to the video in the description box down below. Uh, but this, uh, I found a new way. Well, it's not a new way. It's a way to get a native Chromium installation to use the Linux DRM plugin from Google themselves. <laughs> This is going to involve uh, installing from ports, which may be a lengthy process. It certainly was on my end. If we do a package search for Chromium, you'll find that there's really nothing available. The only thing that comes up is Chromium BSU, which is a nice little shoot em up. But there doesn't seem to be a ready made package for FreeBSD for Chromium at the moment. I mean, things do change. So we're going to have to install from ports. And Chromium, hey, hey, Chromium can take a while to build. This, it, I can build Firefox within, what, half an hour or an hour maybe? But, I don't know, Chromium, it can take a long time. I think so far the longest is roughly about uh, 12 hours. It took 12 hours on this machine to build, so we'll see how long this one takes. So if we issue where is Chromium, you'll see it's in uh, user ports, World Wide Web, Chromium. So that's the one we want in. And in this particular installation, we're going to also, we're going to use Portmaster. Now, you could change directory into the, the directory you see there and make install or make config, whichever you want to do. But you're definitely going to need to make config. But in this case, I'm going to use Portmaster. Now, a lot of people don't like Portmaster. I, I kind of like it because it does it all for you. It's really personal preferences. So we just change into root. And if we issue Portmaster dual hyphen force hyphen config it will bring every configuration option back up um, to so you can override the defaults really and then we put in the forward slash user or usr forward slash ports forward slash www power forward slash chromium and we'll press enter and that brings up immediately the chromium uh, options or knob configurations if you if you want to call it that and you gives you you know defaults like codex cups drivers kerberos a pipe wire if you want some screen capture stuff like that but the one that i'm interested in which has already been selected because i've i've tried this before yes i i do suffer for the uh for the videos i make sure things work before <coughs> even if that means tying the computer up for 12 hours which it did and so i anticipate it's been another 12 hours but as you can see, I've just highlighted it there. And it says, Widevine, depend on foreign CDM to enable playback of DRM content. So this is a, a native implementation of Chromium. You're not using the Linux version, but the only thing you are doing is installing Widevine, which I think is pretty cool. And this is probably going to require that you have Linux ABI already set up in FreeBSD. Uh, you should know how to do that if you Tracing after using DRM on this via Widevine in Chromium on FreeBSD, you probably got have to have a, a minimum understanding of the Linux you later. You know how to set it up. You, you load in the the Linux kernel module, etc. You know the Linux 32 and 64-bit one. But it does pull in a very minimum amount of uh, additional things. It's not like the the Linux uh, browser installer script, which I think pulled in a lot more. I, don't, I can't remember. A while back now, but I think you pulled in a lot more because you, you, you know, you're using the Linux version of the browsers. This one's just using a plugin. So we'll see how it goes. So selecting that again to make sure it's selected, and we just press Enter. In this particular case, I am following the latest uh, ports branch rather than the quarterly one, and so it's giving me some options to upgrade. So it's going to install Chromium, upgrade, uh, go back, RE2, Mesa, Li, uh, Mesa Dry, Mesa Drivers, I can't speak today, uh, Mesa Libs, Xpart, and all the rest of the things there. But before we select that, I'll just come out of that, so I'll just press no. It's already set up, so we won't need to configure, again. Won't need to configure things again. And we want to search and then install something called Linux Widevine CDM. And if we search for that, it tells us it's in the USR ports 
linux hyphen widevine hyphen cdm and that's what is that contains a little magic nugget which will uh, enables us to look at all that wonderful drm stuff again we're going to use portmaster you can use whichever you want and you can see it's drawing in directly from google themselves the google chrome stable deb file and because we're dealing with non-free stuff which uh, well, we are it says Google LLC and its affiliates, Google, own all legal rights, title and interest in and to the content, decryption module software, and related documentation, including any intellectual property rights in the software. You may not use, modify, sell, or otherwise distribute the software without a separate license agreement with Google. The software is not open source. So, yeah, if you agree to that, if you don't agree to that, which you might not, then uh, our little experiment comes to an end. But if you do agree to that, or you don't mind, just press accept, and it will go through and install it. There you go, your little module is installed. So we'll go through the process again, this time without configuring all the options. You'll just put Portmaster and then, you know, Chromium. It gives us the option to install again and upgrade the rest, which we'll this time say yes. And I will come back when it's finished because it does take a long time and we'll see. Right, that finished and that took 12 hours again. 12 hours. I started that at uh, roughly about 8 o'clock in the morning, or maybe 7 o'clock, I can't remember. And it's now 7 or uh, it's now 8 o'clock at night, and it's only just finished. So, uh, yeah, you, you might get it done quicker. I certainly want faster than me, and it's not something I'll do all the time. And here we are. There's Google Chrome. Well, it's not Google Chrome, it's Chromium with the, uh, the required add ons. Yeah, Chromium is like an open source version of uh, Google Chrome. Uh, but it's pretty much the same stuff. So if we go down to, if I can find it in Chrome, oh, it's not like, oh yeah, there we go. It's not like Firefox where it's hidden in the little menu. And as you can see, we're on version 122.0.6261.94, I think. So yes, I don't know if that's the latest, but it was the latest at the time of this video. So we'll just open up a new tab. There we go. And I'm just going to type in DRM. I've already done uh, previous searches, so I know that this works. It might not work this time. Sometimes that's the uh, the nature of uh, compiling stuff. So we'll look at that one, which is DRM Secure Stream. And there it is. Look, there's a nice little uh, thing. It says Detected using Widevine. I'm not going to play too much. I don't want to get done with a copyright strike. Just play a little bit. Yeah, seems to be fine. Seems to be working okay. Lovely, lovely. And the next one we'll look at is Stream Tester. And it's a different video clip, but Essentially, it's the same thing. Test media and DRM functionality in a JWP web player. And it does seem to work, so that's fine. So, we're going to have a look at WebGL as well. And there we go. Your browser, it says, supports WebGL. And it works quite well. It's quite smooth. Oh, this was useful. Not a very long video. Gives us two, uh, gives two choices now. You can use the Linux browser installer script, which is available in parts, or you can do this way. Don't let them tell you that you can't watch Netflix on FreeBSD, because it's not true, you can. Anyway, if you found this video useful, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you found more than one video useful, then please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, then hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I do all the videos myself on this channel, I use FreeBSD and the tools associated to do it. I don't use AI. It's all me, with me, just my passion and my interest in FreeBSD. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.